नमस्ते ड्यूरिंग द सिक्स सेंचुरी बी सी ई महर्षि शुश्रुत अ लेजेंडरी स्कॉलर ऑफ द इंडियन मेडिकल साइंस एंड फाउंडिंग फादर ऑफ सर्जरी रोड वन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड्स अर्लीस्ट वर्क ऑन मेडिसिन एंड सर्जरी सुश्रुत लिव्ड इन द एंशियंट सिटी ऑफ काशी नाउ नोन एज वाराणसी टू थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड ईयर्स अगो महर्षि सुश्रुत together with his colleagues had conducted the variety of complex surgeries such as cesareans artificial limbs cataract urinary stones fractures and most especially the plastic surgery in a famous book shalya tantra shushut described about all the surgical procedures shalya tantra was later named as the shushut sahita in shushut sahita written in sanskrit language shushut has described all the amazing surgical procedures with the accuracy and curative efficacy it forms the foundations of the ancient hindu form of medicine known as ayurveda shushut sahita is the key reference book for all the ayurvedic surgeons shushut sahita in its extant form is divided into 186 chapters and contains descriptions of 1120 illnesses 700 medicinal plants 64 preparations from mineral sources and 57 preparations based on animal sources sushut so, sahita has two parts first one is known as the purva tantra and the second one is known as the uttar tantra these two parts together cover all other specialties such as medicine geriatrics pediatrics ear diseases diseases of the nose throat eye toxicology and psychiatry the five books of the purva tantra having 120 chapters are sutra sthan sharir sthan nidan sthan chikitsa sthan and kalp sthan He had classified the surgical operations and explained the plastic surgery as well as its tools. He had described around 8 special operations for surgery such as the cutting, piercing, opening, scratching, inserting and stitching. Mahesh Shushud had worked as both the practitioner and the teacher of surgery. Mahesh Shushud has described in his writings that the hemorrhage can be easily arrested and has given the procedure to arrest. According to Sushrut the wound is an ultimate abrasion of the underlying pathological structure which starts with the inflammation he was the pioneer of anesthesia and has prompted the proper use of wine with incense of cannabis for the anesthesia purpose he had also classified the bones along with their reaction to injuries he had described six types of dislocation of joints and 12 varieties of fractures of the shaft together with the principles of fracture treatment such as traction manipulation appositions and stabilization shushrut was well known about the urinary stones variety of stones signs symptoms method of removal operational complications as well as the anatomy of urinary bladder apart from all above he had described the surgery of intestinal obstruction perforated intestines abdomen accidental injuries which involves the prostruction of omentum his main contribution was towards the field of plastic and cataract surgery he had described all the basic principles of plastic surgery by offering a suitable physiotherapy before operations the technique of the release of skin in order to cover all the small defects rotation of the flaps to heal the partial loss of the pedicle flaps to cover the entire loss of skin from an area are well described by him he has given various other methods together with the rotation graft sliding graft pedicle graft rhinoplasty and labioplasty Skin grafts entail transplanting pieces of skin from one part of the body to another. Today, surgeons use skin grafts to restore areas that have lost protective layers of tissue due to trauma, infection, burns, as well as to restore areas where surgical intervention has created a loss of skin as can happen with melanoma removal. Rhinoplasty, colloquially known as the nose job, is a surgery performed to achieve two results. to improve the breathing function of the nose to improve the cosmetic look of the nose shootsruth stratrice provides the first written record of a forehead flap rhinoplasty a technique still used today to reconstruct a nose he used a flap of skin from the forehead called a pedicle 
to form a new nose the nose in indian society has remained a symbol of dignity and respect throughout antiquity in ancient times amputation of the nose was frequently done as a punishment for criminals war prisoners or people indulged in adultery the practice of rhinoplasty slowly started as a result of the need to reconstruct the external nose and later developed to a full fledged science he explored surgeons to achieve perfect healing which is characterized by the absence of any elevation and duration swelling mass and the return of normal coloring a number of shushuts contributions have been discussed in modern literature some of these include hrithshul which is heart pain circulation of vital body fluids such as blood which is known as rakta dhatu and lymph that is ras dhatu madhumeh obesity and hypertension the first mention of leprosy is described in sushrut sahita the sushrut sahita is best known for its approach and discussions of surgery it was one of the first in human history to suggest a student should practice states the text on objects resembling the deceased or body part it has been stated that the sushrut sahita is likely a work that includes several historical layers whose composition may have begun in the last centuries BCE it has been stated that the sushrut sahita is likely a work that includes several historical layers whose composition may have begun in the last centuries BCE and was completed in its presently surviving form by another author who redacted its first five sections and added the long final section the uttar tantra It is likely that Sushrut Sahita was known to the scholar Dhridbal somewhere between 300 to 500 contemporary era which gives the latest date of the version of the work that has survived into the modern era Sushrut is named in the text as the author who presented the teachings of his guru Devadas he is said in ancient texts such as the Buddhist Jataks to have been a physician who taught in a school of Kashi that is Varanasi in parallel to another medical school in Takshila sometime between 1200 BC to 600 BC one of the oldest palm leaf manuscripts of Sushrut Sahita has been discovered in Nepal it is preserved in the Kaiser library Nepal as manuscript KL699 with its digital copy archived by Nepal German Manuscript Preservation Project the partially damaged manuscript consists of 152 folios written on both sides with 6 to 8 lines in transitional gupta script the manuscript has been verifiably dated to have been completed by the scribe on sunday april 13 878 contemporary era sushrut sahita remained preserved for many centuries exclusively in sanskrit language in the 8th century ad sushrut sahita was translated into arabic as kitab shah shun al hindi and kitab e sushrut the first european translation of sushrut sahita was published by hessler in latin and in german by muller in the early 19th century the complete english literature was done by kaviraj kunj lal bishagratna in the three volumes in 1907 in calcutta the text was known to the khaimar king yashovarman 1 of cambodia sushrut was also known as the medical authority in tibetan literature in india a major commentary on the text known as nibandh sangrah was written by dalhan in 1200 ce the sushrut sahita was composed after charak sahita and except for some topics and their emphasis both discuss many similar subjects the sushrut and charak texts differ in one major aspect with sushrut sahita providing the foundation of surgery while charak sahita being primarily a foundation of medicine if you want to know more about ancient indian scientists please refer to the playlist ancient indian scientists if you have liked the video please like share and subscribe thank you